Where in the world is the... I swear I've like looked all around. Am I just stupid? Oh jeez, this might take me forever. Oh my... Are you kidding me? Fight. Fight. Welcome back everyone, it's Big Toe. Remember Find the Button? It was one of the most popular Minecraft minigames. The objective of the game was to find the button. Who would have thought? Anyways, in this video, I'll be turning that minigame into a full game. Let's get started. Firstly, I made a simple level, and by that I mean <laughs> I made a cube. It's, it's, it's good enough. I then made the most important thing in the game, the button. I did some coding and stuff, and now when we get close to it, you can press E and it'll load to the... the, the, the. If you press E, it'll load the next level. Though the two levels we have right now are just boring cubes. Why you bullying me? So it's time to make some new, interesting levels. First, I made this level that has lava in each corner. It's pretty cool. Wow, that was really cool. Next, I made this level. Honestly, I don't really know what I was trying to do with this one, but uh, we have two hallways, I guess. Yeah, level design. After that, I made a level with four rooms and chairs. Chairs. Stairs. You can enter a room, but you can't exit. This one actually has a pretty cool mechanic. Last but not least, we can't have a find the button game without a maze. There are more levels I made, but I want you to experience them for yourselves when you play the game. That took me so long to make. But if you're using Core, it'll take no time at all. Core is a free game creation platform where you can make your own games with no coding. Yeah, you heard me right, free and no coding. What a dream come true. But if you're a nerd like me, you can also use a built-in coding language called Lua. You can also play some games made by other people. And did I mention that you can actually make money from the games you make? Core is just amazing. To top all that, they announced that they'll be sharing 50% of all revenues with the creators on the games made in Core. Also, this month, Core is hosting a holiday game jam and partner with Global Game Jam. You'll have 3 weeks to make a game in Core and there's $10,000 in cash prize for 10 potential winners. There's a link in the description below for more info. Core, sponsor me again, I need money. Anyways, I made a blue button with a new mechanic so the gameplay isn't stale. It opens up a new section of the level when it's pressed. Now that we have all those levels, let's test them out. They're all great, but they're pretty empty. It's like Mario Kart, but without the cards. Or Minecraft, but without the blocks. Yeah, I, th I think you know what I mean. So I modeled some furniture in Blender. We made a lamp, a stool, a chair, two tables, a crate, a long crate, and a barrel. Quite a variety of things. This should spice the levels up. But before that, shout out to Lil Toe. He's just a great guy, you know. He makes amazing content, so link in the description below. Time to decorate the levels with the furniture. Time lapse time. Hi, I'm Barry. Don't mind me, I'm just vibing. The game looks much better now. It's actually starting to look like a proper game. Is it just me, or is this tool looking kinda hot? What the f did you just say? No, I, I said hot, not thick. Please, no. Some of you are probably thinking, huh, this looks pretty similar to Danny's game, Carlson 3D. But this is nothing like Carlson. Clearly Carlson has orange lava while ours is green. That's like comparing Coke to Pepsi. It's nothing alike. Also, Carlson is actually a good game, while this, well, this is a masterpiece. No, I'm just kidding. It's Anyways, now when we fall in the acid, the level restarts. Even with the furniture added, our levels still look pretty bland. Luckily, I know just the thing to fix that. Post-processing. Oh my god, that made our game so much better. Like, look at the difference. It's as, it's as, it's as that, it's as. You need to just stop. Astounding. Wow. Since we finished the core game, I decided to add some extra features to spice the game up. I added a sound effect when the button is pressed. 
I made a fade transition between levels. I added text to the start of each level, displaying the current level number and a small hint. Don't fall in. Shut up, baby! <laughs> If you play this game, make sure to watch out for the hints, it'll help you a lot. I made a main menu with an options tab, a credits tab, and a controls tab. I'm quite proud of this menu, it's simple, but the camera sway makes it look so good. Lastly, I made a pause menu that pops up when you pause the game. Here you can restart the game, check the controls, or go back to the main menu. With all that done, the game is complete. You can play it yourself by going to the link in the description below. The first 10 people to complete this game and send me a photo gets a shout out on the next video. It has to be a photo of your screen and not a screenshot. Wait, is, isn't that the same thing? What I meant was, you have to take a photo of your screen with a phone or something, so not just like a screenshot. Also, you have to be subscribed to this channel to enter the competition. This is the first game that I've completed, and it was made in 5 days, so don't expect too much. Anyways, here are some of my friends playing the game. Alright, hello, this is Ben Bonk. Alright, we're playing Big Toe's new game. Alright, here we go. Find the button by Big Toe, let's go. Yo, what's good? Time to play this game. All right, level one, find the button. Pretty simple. Level one, find the button. Oh, E. I found the button. Here we go. Level one, find the button. Hmm. I wonder what... Ooh, green lava. Radioactive. Oh, oh no. Well, that's actually kind of cool. It's giving me very big... Okay. Giving me very big portal vibes. Movement control is very nice. I really like the look of this game. Boom, boom. Some parkour here. Easy. Please. Let's go. Oh, there's 360. I feel like this is gonna get really hard really fast. Just a plain wall. Oh, this isn't non-Euclidean, is it? Just a plain wall. What do you mean? Is there anything I can do to figure out this puzzle? Where in the world is the... I swear, I've like looked all around. Am I just stupid? I swear. <laughs> Not on this wall. Is it on the ceiling or something? Not on this wall. Just spam E on everything. Oh. E. Can I go through the wall maybe? Ah, uh, you can go through the wall. I don't know if I broke it, and uh, none of the controls are responding, so I think I broke it. Maybe like in the light somewhere? Oh jeez, this might take me forever. Approximately 10 hours later. Oh my! Are you kidding? <laughs> that was really good. Big Toe is the best YouTuber in the world. That's nice. Good game. Really like it. I love Big Toe so much. He's my favorite YouTuber. Hey, let's go. Thank you, Big Toe, for letting me play this game. It's pretty epic, honestly. This is the best game I've ever played in my life. Many thanks to these guys for playing my horrible game. Make sure to check out their channels in the description below. Thanks for watching till the end. Again, if you want to play this game, there's a link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing for more. Anyways, that's it for me. Peace. Bye. 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 Bye.